In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to sign a student's flight, particularly if you do not have an account on My Flight Book. Uh, while there's a lot of benefit to having a, an account on, on My Flight Book, and I have other videos where I uh, talk about that, uh, it is not necessary and it is not my goal to sell you on that uh, today. So what, I'm, uh, what I want to just show is how to uh, sign a student's uh, logbook. Um, to do this, you, the student needs to be using uh, the iOS or the Android app. I'm uh, demonstrating today uh, using uh, the iOS app on an iPhone. It could be an, uh, uh, an iPad or any kind of tablet. The key thing that you need for this to work properly is a touch screen uh, because you'll use a fingernail uh, scribble to, to give your signature. So the basic process is pretty straightforward. It's two steps. The first step is to save the flight to be signed, and then you sign it. Um, and saving the flight, the student can do it, or you can fill it out uh, on the student's behalf. That's all fine. Get the flight exactly the way you want it. And that's where you want to record all of the maneuvers you did, the, the training you gave, the, the things that you really need to document um, that were performed. Um, and then you save it into their logbook. And so at that point, it's saved unsigned. And it's really important uh, that it's a two-step process because that way, when you go to sign it, you're signing what's already in the database and the integrity can be uh, preserved. If you were signing it as it were going into the database, then there could be possibility of, of something being changed in transit to the database. So here I've just put in two, uh, two flights, flight number one, flight number two. There's nothing particularly uh, interesting about them. But what um, you can see, if you tap on the flight, if you look down here in the lower left corner, there is a sign option. Uh, in, on Android, it's up in the menu in the upper right. That's just an Android uh, convention. So we're going to click sign. And what that's going to do is it's uh, bringing up uh, first, a an attestation that you, the student, are not self-signing. This is where they will actually just say, "I agree." Uh, I, you know, of course, on a paper logbook, they could sign their own flights, and it's all honor system. Here, they actually have to explicitly say, "I'm not signing my own uh, uh, flight." And at this point, they can uh, the, they can hand the phone or the the tablet to you. And what it will do when you say next is it shows you the flight uh, to be signed. You can see the date, the aircraft, the model, the route, uh, uh, the, the remarks or comments, the relative, relevant times, and so forth. And it's pretty straightforward here. If I scroll up a little bit, I can fill in my name. Uh, my name, I'll, I'll actually use my name, why not? My uh, email at myflightbook.com. That's not my actual email, but my certificate. I'm not actually a CFI, so I'll make one up here. And then I can specify uh, the expiration date for my uh, certificate. Done. Um, and uh, put in any comments. Now, the, the key thing about the comments here is this is not where you want to put in uh, long uh, remarks about the procedures you did and and that you did stalls and that you did steep turns and all of that. This is just where you put in comments about uh, the flight, you know, good stick and rudder, or whatever, that kind of thing. Uh, and that's because this field uh, is actually limited to uh, just 250 characters. Uh, so you, you'll want to keep it fairly uh, short and uh, straightforward. Then uh, you want to provide a signature. Um, I'm just using a touchpad here, uh, so I'm just going to put in a little fake signature here, and I'm going to say sign flight. And that's all there is. So now when you hit back, uh, you're back on the flight, and when you when you come back to the recent flights, you can see that the flight has been signed and it has a little uh, um, badge indicating that, that the flight has been signed. Uh, and the nice thing about that is if the flight gets edited, uh, on any of the core fields, then uh, the badge will be invalidated and it will be very, very clear that the signature is no longer a valid signature. Uh, but the bright, uh, on the bright hand side, the student can then see the edits that they've performed and if they undo those edits, then it's back in the state that you signed it and the, the badge will, will be okay again. 
So I'm just going to quickly show what happens if you go to sign another flight for the student. So here I have a second flight. I'm going to say sign. And now I can do a new instructor again, but since I've already signed it once, it can pull up that information. So when I click that it's me, I still have to say I'm not self-signing. Uh, and when it comes in here, it's pulled in that information uh, from last time. So again, I can just say good stick and rudder and do a scribble signature, sign flight, and it's done. So, so the second time, it's even easier than the first. Um, and in both of these cases, you'll notice when it says it's signed, if you look at the details, there is an, a signature block here, and it has the uh, certificate number, expiration, my comments, and it shows the, the uh, scribble and that it's valid. If you do decide you want to set up an account on my flight book, which is free, and I don't sell your information or do anything like that, then there are more things that you can do and you do not have to use a scribble. You do not have to be face to face. I describe that how that all works in another video. Thanks. I hope this is helpful.